Lincoln hitting six times. Six times. This year, he's only having a third year, and he's still hitting 320. No, no, Stan Musial is an all-time great. Yeah, yeah, I just saw Hey, what do you think? Uh, I mean, do you think I ought to go through this marriage? Look, I'm, uh, I don't know about you, but if it was me, I'd be on my way to China by now. Uh, look, let, let's take them position by position. Who would the Yankees got on first? Scout? Boy, how they thought it's Scout, huh? <laughs> What's he doing this year? All right, uh, he's having a lucky year. Yeah. But are you, are, are you going to compare him with Hodges? I mean, there's no comparison. Hodges is, is the best first baseman in, in both leagues. Brady, what do you think? Um... I mean, you think I ought to marry this girl or go to China or what? <laughs> Look, Arnold, if it bothers you so much, why don't you call her up and uh, tell her to forget the whole thing, huh? Well, I'll, I'll admit that Hodges is having a bad year this year. But what about last year? He had over 300. He only had 35 home runs. And, and he drove me over 100 runs. Yeah, and he... Look, Arnold, get rid of her, will you? You drive, you drive me crazy here. All right, uh, who's on second? We, we got Charlie Neal. Oh, Gillian, for that matter. What's Brooklyn going to do for pitching? Uh, never heard of Erskine? Never heard of Newcomb? <laughs> what do you got to compare with Ford, Cox, McDermott, Turley? Who are you, a Yankee fan? Yeah. We'll drop dead, huh? The Yankee fan. Hey! I did it! You did what? I just woke her up. I I called her, I said, I'm not gonna marry you. What do I wanna marry you for? I'm gonna have a ball. I'm not gonna marry you. What you talking about now? Oh, he's gone. Oh, he just called up his girl and broke his engagement. Oh, is that what he was yelling about? Come on, Come on. Hey, help me get him up, will you, Eddie? Hey, Charlie, you don't think he did it because I was needling him, do you? No, I was only needling him. You better get him out of here. I'm closing up anyway. Yeah. We better take him home. Oh, don't break it up yet, Charlie. I thought you were going to meet that girl here. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, Eddie, for Pete's sake. Get him out in the fresh air. He'll be all right. What a bachelor party. Start out celebrating his wedding, we end up breaking his engagement. What do we owe you here? You pay him, will you, Eddie? I gave you the ten bucks. Oh, no, Charlie, don't, don't break it up yet. Don't go home. It's going to take us an hour to get him home. He lives out in Queens someplace. By the time I get back to 14th Street, it'll be daybreak. Well, what are you going to do? Stay up all night? Don't you ever want to go home? Where do I want to go home for? I read all the papers. Well, go to sleep, then. But, Charlie... Talk home. Come on, I feel like doing something. No? Do what? Stay around this bar all night long and argue about the Yankees and the Dodgers? Wind up with some scared, lonely girl who begs you to say I love you? Go home, Eddie. Go to bed. You, you gotta go to bed sometimes. I'll take Arnold home. Come on. Hey, kid, come on. I think you're can you stand? Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's hold on. Here. 